Привет and welcome to Ruskin. In the last video I showed you and talked about the famous SRVV version 1 chess trick and unique Korean woodland camouflage. I would recommend to you to watch this video so you get a better idea what I'm talking about in this video. Back to today's video. We're gonna take a look at what came after the version 1 chess trick, leaving the transitional model aside. So we're gonna take a look at the version 2 chess trick here. I have two issued models here, one being the, this one here in, as you can see, M81 Woodland Camo. And I have another version here, a completely black version. Uh, both are version 2 models and they are very, very similar, but also have some minor differences. And I will, of course, show them to you. Um, as far as I know, the issued model is slightly different to the commercial model. But if I compare them, I only can compare them by looking at pictures and videos. So I don't have a commercial model on hand. Because I'm filming this, obviously, um, we are focusing on the woodland model because I think it would be easier for you to see all the details. But even though the black and the woodland model are very similar, they have some slightly differences to them, some unique features. And if I talk about the differences, the features, then of course I will bring back the black one. About the history of the version 2, well, not much is really known about that. Even SRVV themselves don't have a lot of real information, solid data about that. We already know that the version 1 was produced and issued to Wimple uh, around 1997-1998 and saw a lot of use in the unit. But I think they also found that it had some issues like the material, parts setup and stuff like that. So then came the transitional model, which for sure was there only for a very short time. And then came the version 2. And the version 2 is still produced by SRVV today and you can buy it. Well, at least the commercial model. The chess trick was again issued to Wimple in both versions, the woodland one and the black one, from pictures and Looking at the features, the black one was issued shortly before the woodland one and so around 2005-2006. I have some pictures of both versions being used and of course I will show them to you. Not sure if they improved the version one only based on the experience and reviews from the operators or if they went to the drawing board themselves. I guess maybe both. Um, they didn't change too much, but made the chess trick a lot tougher and getting rid of a lot of weak points. So let's dig into it. If you look at it, again it's a very simple and basic chess trick design, fixed pouch setup, and again uh, what I would call a typical Russian pouch setup with dedicated hand flare or signal flare pouches. Um, again, the shoulder straps running on your back in an X shape. So again, very simple design. Yeah, nothing fancy about it. But let's start on top. We again have two shoulder straps with a slightly padded part and adjustment straps. First big difference to the version 1 is they got rid of the plastic buckles here in front. Now we only find one plastic buckle here on the left side. And now we come to the first unique feature of the black one. Because only on the black one you find this well, molly row. Oh, just a simple basic attachment point for, I don't know, maybe pouches or to clip your hand mic in or something like that. Then 
and in the middle we again have a document or map pouch, closed with velcro. Then from looking at pictures, unique feature to the issued models and we don't have four single hand, gr hand grenade pouches anymore, now we have only three and they replaced one single hand grenade pouch for I think something like a small general purpose pouch, IPP first aid pouch because dimensions wise you won't be able to fit two hand grenades in here but I think a very good improve may, improvement they made to this chest rig so again simple basic pouch design open and closed with velcro and they got rid of all the water draining holes on the bottom so now the pouches are completely closed Next on we have a total of three single hand grenade pouches. Again, simple basic design, no further straps inside here. Then we are going to the hand flare or signal flare pouches. They changed the design a lot, so went from these real pouches with a, with a flap to open pouches. And now you can put a lot of other things in here, but still, um, yeah. You see the pouch set up here. Well, not a lot of things you can use it for, but they now stitched it uh, to the rest of the chest rig with only one row or one set of stitchings, so now it falls flat and doesn't take away that much space on the chest rig. Next we have a total of four double magazine pouches. Again they changed the design, got rid of the elastic band around the body, got rid of the draining holes, now simple basic design with velcro and they added dividers to the pouches. So just a Kodura strap here inside on all of these pouches. That's the next difference to the black one, because on the black one you only have those dividers in the middle two pouches here. flare pouch, same design as this one. Next difference, they got rid of two of the belt loops, now we have only two. And well, the next difference to the black one, on the at least the first models of the black one, and here on the black one we don't have any belt loops. Okay, then we turn it around. So no shiny green material here anymore, so it's uh, a solid grey color on the outside and in the middle part the woodland color, uh, SRVV label here, Kodura label on this side, and yeah, um, you see this on the issued first models of the woodland one, on the commercial models you have the back side being just one color, so in this case it would be all woodland camouflage. Again, difference to the black one. Here we have just paint black color. No difference, no different materials here. So again, I use this chest rig once, both versions, and again, simple basic chest rig design, nothing fancy about it. You can carry basically everything you need into battle. 
Um, again, I'm not a big fan of these uh, hand signal flare pouches. And yeah, again, I'm missing some kind of big general purpose pouch or something like that. But they improved the design a lot. So the material is now a thousand D Cordura material, very thick and tough. Uh, stitching is nice. So yeah, you definitely could go into battle with this chest trick and it, it would last longer than the version one. So that's it. I hope you liked this video and see you on the next one. Bye.